So today I'm going to be showing you how I transform from this to this. Hi, my name is Narelle and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look with a bit more of a kick. So usually I start with a primer and this one is a Shiseido White Lucent All Day Primer. And it's pretty old but it serves me well. I started getting into makeup after the Willow started because we had to. And then people would pile on like a lot of makeup onto my face. And then after that you start to like slowly understand a bit more about what works for your face. Yes. So the next step is foundation and I really love this. This is the NYX Total Control. It makes my skin look better. How long it takes for me to do my makeup really depends on what time I wake up. It can range anywhere from like 5 minutes in the car to like an hour if I'm watching a show. I learned how to put on makeup by learning from my girlfriends. They always like come to you with like, hey I bought this new product and then you're like, oh my god let me try. And also makeup artists that I've met along the way, they really do give a lot of valuable advice. But mostly it's a lot of personal experimenting. So the next thing that I usually do is concealer and I'm using this Claire de Paul concealer which is really good. I tried it out and I covered like my tattoo and I'm like, what I realised is that when you put it too close to your waterline, it really just makes your eye look really puffy. I used to feel really bad about having bad skin. It's just something that I've had for the longest time. I think it's perfectly fine to feel insecure, but prioritise your life. Like to me, what's important to me now is not having the best skin, it's having the time to spend with my friends and be on my own and, like, and create stuff. If let's say the offhand of that is having slightly worse skin, then I'm fine. The next step, I guess, is eyebrows. So I like to use this Chanel eyebrow pencil. Nothing much to it, you just fill it in according to how you're feeling that day. If you're feeling a bit angrier, you just like... Mm. How do I draw my brows so that they're even and balanced? So actually, like at home, my mirror is like a metre away. When you actually use a, a mirror that's further away, you understand how most people will see you and it's easier to balance it out. Kind of like life. If you keep focusing on things that are too close to you, you really lose sight of like the bigger picture. Sometimes it's good to step back and just take a look from afar. Okay, so the next step is usually contouring and I'm going to use this bread and butter palette from Epduck Cosmetics which is a local brand and I love them. It's super cute and the pigment is... Things like bronzer and blusher that's so specific to your face. Like take time to try it. Like I went through this whole phase of over bronzing and when you look back you're like, girl! <laughs> it's just black. So I am releasing solo music this year which I'm so excited for. I think it was a natural process that the Willows we kind of wanted to go through as well because at some point you really want to create something that is what you want to say. Somehow or rather, Everything that aligns with me doing my own music is all the things that I've been trying to run away from for as long as I can remember. Yeah, being able to be vulnerable and putting out a work that people can judge is very intimidating, but I'm trying my best to be like as positive as I can throughout. I kind of saw the whole project as, you know, grow up, do it right. Face your fears and face your insecurities. Don't feel bad for having emotions. The only way through is to really work them out properly and the only way you can work them out properly is to address them and, and identify what they are. Okay, so now I'm going to add a bit of colour to my face and a bit of life with the NARS Orgasm Blusher which has like a little bit of sparkle. Usually I like to keep it really to the side, I learned it from Gigi Hardy. So I usually put it just on the cheek and I try not to come too close to like the front part of my face. I think you're going to see a lot of me this year, I hope that you don't mind. If you want, take the time to take a listen to the project because I really thought out this project is actually going to come out in three parts and each of them kind of track the progress that I've made in the steps that you have to take to overcome adversity in life. There was one period where I was like, I don't care what you do, you just sit down and you write. So I wrote a whole bunch of songs. All of them were just like different moods arranged into three parts. The first part being just turmoil and feeling overwhelmed. Part two is kind of my indulgence into sadness. Like I have this song called Blue that is just about me accepting that, you know what, I'm sad, that's me. And then the last part, that's when you're like, oh man, I'm so done being sad. Do I have to do life? Okay, fine, I have to. So it's a bit sarcastic and it's a step. So I'm quite excited. I don't know, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I guess like the nerves come in realizing that I have people that I respect and I love working on putting out this project for me. When somebody puts in their heart and their soul for me, like I want it to be worth it for them, you know. Alright, enough of that. Quick fire round, let's go. Sneakers. Oi, Sandra. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Sorry, John. John, but this is because we are like really opposite. But he's amazing, he really is. Me. <laughs> Just kidding. Honestly, I think Sandra or Ben. What I'm going to do now is eyeshadow and I'm going to use Abduct Cosmetics. So I'm going to use this colour Venus. Just a little bit of a sheen, it's like a bit of a peachy colour. And I just go right into my eye. 
give the lid a little bit of freshness. We're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner today, which makes me the most nervous because I never get it right. We're gonna be using a Maybelline Hyper Sharp. If you can see, it's already a bit frayed, which will make it a challenge, but challenge yourself. So I'm just gonna do that. And this is a challenge. So next step is mascara, which I love. You have to curl your lashes first. Try and give it a good lift because it really opens your eye. Look at that. <laughs> and today I'm going to be using this Blackmagic Ico mascara. If I could describe music in one word, in what it means to me, emotion. I think music is like one tangible way of being able to describe how you feel. So the next step is this Kat Von D powder that I just kind of dab over in certain areas. Yeah, I think powder just helps you get into all the little like crevices to fill it in. Okay, so last step uh, is always lips. Today I'm going to be using the Dior Stella Shine. I really like warm tones because I feel like it works for my skin. So this one is a bright peachy colour and I usually just like to dab it on a little bit just for a bit more of colour, energy. Uh -huh. And done! Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments which makeup step is the most important to you. Because for me, it's foundation because I like to pretend that I live a healthy lifestyle and I'm glowing. Scammed, yeah. Bye.